The first crack on Christmas Eve lasted for eight seconds. It sounded like an earthquake, but the extra damage revealed today was not caused by a natural disaster. It was a construction nightmare long in the making. The tree is not going to fall, but the branches are cracking. The worst damage is on floors 4 and 10, but levels 3, 9, 16, 26 and basement level 3 have all been investigated. The report stated that several safety and design factors were lower than industry standards. At this stage we have not been able to identify which of these is materially important versus the design. On top of the damage to vertical precast panels, engineers Mark Hoffman and John Carter found that corners had been cut. There was not enough grouting to protect load-bearing beams. Steel bars connecting concrete slabs were cut and, as 7 News reported, steel bars in some panels were too small. Combined, the pressure was too great. The government's first reaction was to blame certifiers, even promising a crackdown on the industry. But with several systemic failures unearthed today, from the basement to level 26, they're back to square one, unsure where it all went wrong. Total failure here, a total failure of leadership by the government. Four days ago, the builder told residents it was OK to go back in, but the body corporate says there's no guarantee the tower is safe. No resident wants to live on a construction site. No owner deserves to have this happen to them anywhere in Australia. The question is, what will happen to the building once the hundreds of props holding it up are removed? Tom Saker, 7 News.